Trezor finder opens up a new club. That's better news, actually. That's more fun. More fun, more fun, more fun. So, um, the founder of Trezor, uh, D- Dimitri Higman, who I've actually heard him speak a few times um, on different podcasts, is opening up another club, right? So, he's always very... Um, I think, I don't know what it is about this dude. Maybe it's the interior designers he works with, but he's always creating some really cool, interesting spaces. Um, so, this is a basement bar he's opening up um, in northwest of Germany. Um, let me get up here on the screen. Uh, Resident Advisor article, Trezor's DBJ, to open up a new club in Northwest of Germany, um, which is interesting too because it's not opening up in Berlin, it's opening up somewhere else. So, maybe trying to expand the techno sound and scene across the entire um, a span of Germany and not just in the, in the main city, which probably is a thing that he's doing. I don't know. But it looks really cool and interesting. The um, as yet unnamed basement space in the region of Westphalia, where Higman was born. Uh, Trezor Founder is doing his club. Look at look how cool that looks, man. It's amazing, isn't it? Basement club with the cool lights on it. Basement clubs are always better than actual clubs that are on street level, no? It's something about descending down into the stairs. I remember that's what that was that was the thing about Plastic Peoples that I fucking loved, man. You remember Plastic Peoples? Plastic Peoples was one of the best London clubs we ever had. And again, like region that's cause I think Plastic People is probably one of the clubs, if not the only club in London that I think really suffered from regeneration and the kind of uh, gentrification of London. That was the one that really was the one that they fucked up on. They should have never closed that one. Like Curtain Road, Middle of Shoreditch, Basement Bar, Cool Nights, like just one of the best venues ever out. Like has some legendary parties at that place, man. Um so yeah, it was on Curtain Road in Shoreditch, which if you're familiar with Shoreditch is like basically the main area, main strip now. Um great sound system. 250 people capacity, if not a bit smaller than that, as you can see from these pictures, it's fucking tiny. Like absolutely dirty sound system. Um, great um, events on there. Just a really, really cool space. Wow, man. Oh, sorry, that's Peckham. That's Cavanaugh's Pool Club in Peckham. Sorry, I was about to say. So many legendary nights I've had in Plastic Peoples, man. I re- I, that's the one place I think I really, really uh, I'm sad that was, you know, didn't hang around longer. Rotary mixer, uh, nice turntables, the booth where you can see the DJ and slap on the fucking roof and shit, which is such a good venue, man. Again, really, really a bummer this place had to close when it did. But yeah, Plaza People was definitely the one. Oh, I see my friend there as well at the front. Cool. But yeah, so um, DB Checkman opened up his own club, Basement Club, which again, um, I'm, I'm a big fan of. The Berlin based visionary um, who was born in uh, well, Westphalia in, 19, in 1954 and wrote the news via Facebook, calling the project a dream come true. It's sick. Uh, though the venue doesn't have a name yet Higman promises an excellent sound system and effective acoustic treatment in a royal basement of the programming he says the club will bring international DJs to the rural area as well as supporting fresh local talent the opening date is still to be 2BC read him as original post here take a sneak peek inside really cool man so here's his post I was born in a little village in West Philia and since many years I wanted to run a club uh, with a small and excellent sound system and effective acoustics that's what I've wanted too that's a big dream of mine imagine opening a, love, a nice little basement club 300 people capacity and booking your friends having some international DJs fly by here and there and also having a space that people can just come to and don't care about who is on the lineup, right? That's that's the main thing you want. I'm not sure how hard or how easy that is to do that sort of thing, but that's something I'd love to do. Um, somewhere in a raw basement, I found an old empty space, an opportunity. We an, an, an opportunity. We fixed it, and now the venue is nearly ready to go. Trezor Berlin will support this plan with a solid artist program. No name yet, but a lot of confidence. I'll tell you that that nice little humble space go, got sold. I believe this club will direct a focus of international techno artists on the city in the rural areas and serves the local artists as a springboard to expand their own DJ careers. A dream come true soon. That's awesome as well. Imagine the careers you're going to be able to be birthed from that little space. It looks fucking incredible. Basement club. I'm not sure if that's made out of wood, the DJ booth. That looks cool. Some couches at the back here. Some really cool lights that look like similar to lights you might see in a studio of a TV show or some shit. There's a little cool alleyway here with bricks on either side. Um, yeah, really just cool space overall. It looks fucking interesting. Exposed brick, of course, because why Why not if you've got a German club? A basement German club has to have exposed brick. <laughs> I don't want to see no stupid plastering on the side of the walls or anything. just looks fucking incredible. I'm a big fan of it. Uh, it's such big up Dimitri. That was fucking cool. Wow. So yeah, un- yeah, unnamed space. So check that out or keep an eye out for that when that gets named. Um, and again, it's going to be another opportunity. This is what I like about club culture though because it gives me the opportunity to go to places I would never go to. I don't think I would ever have been to Frankfurt if I didn't go to Robert Johnson, right? I wasn't in fashion with Robert Johnson. I'm probably not going to... The probably reason why I'm going to go back to Munich. It's not Munich. Um, Dortmund? 
It's for Club de Visionaire, not Club de Visionaire. Um, Salon de Salon de Amateurs, right? All these different places around the world that have a burgeoning kind of club scene or coming up or get featured in different places like Resident Advisor or Mix Mag or you know you hear about on different forums, then get you interested and you start doing the whole club tourism thing. You end up you end up visiting places you would never think you'd visit. That's the thing I love about electronic music. Like the, again, nightlife, and then you, again you meet you go to these places, you meet some cool people, you build some contacts, and then who knows? Who knows what happens? I love it. I fucking love it.